All right, happy Monday, everybody. Um, this is going to be a quick introductory video today for um, shapes. So we're starting our, our shapes and understanding shapes and um, all of their attributes, which are the things about them. Um, so we're going to dive right into it today. Um, we're going to be um, doing shapes for the rest of the year. So um, this is exciting. Um, it's a fun unit. I really like this unit. Um, you get to draw lots of things. You get to... Um, really learn a lot about shapes that you probably maybe didn't even know. So I know that we've learned shapes um, before in other grades and then um, you're gonna be starting to learn a little bit more in depth about them. So today we're just gonna start um, with some vocabulary words um, to make sure that we are keeping up with our vocabulary, making sure that we understand what all of the words mean when I do talk about the shapes. So um, our first word that we want to know is polygon. Make sure you say polygon. So it sticks in your head better. When you say something out loud and repeat it, your brain remembers it better. So a polygon, a shape that has three or more sides, and angles. All right, sorry, I'm gonna turn this a little bit so less than scares me more bored. So a polygon is a shape that has three or more sides and angles. So I see these words, sides and angles. So I'm gonna draw a shape and then I'm going to show you what sides and angles are just to make sure again that we understand um, all of our vocabulary words. So I'm gonna draw a square. It's square is a, a familiar shape. Um, we've done a lot with squares this year with area and all of those things. So we know squares have um, four straight sides. So when we say sides, we're talking about these right here. Any straight side um, or a straight line that connects the shape is a side. So in this case, the square has one, two, three, four of them. It has four sides. Okay, um, if I drew a triangle, okay, again, sides are the straight, um, the straight lines that connect the shape. So in a triangle, this shape has one, two, three straight lines that connect it. All right, so we understand what sides are. Um, and then angles are the corners, okay? So like right here we have an angle, right here we have an angle. So it's where two sides come together. That is what an angle is. So again, our square had four angles and our triangle had three angles, okay? What if I drew a circle? Well, I know sides are the straight lines that connect a shape. And okay, I, I have like just one never ending line. It's not straight though. So a circle actually doesn't have any sides. And then angles are the little corners where the sides come together. And since there's no sides that are coming together, a circle also does not have any angles. Okay. So a circle is not a polygon because we know a polygon is a shape that has three or more sides, okay? <clears throat> so, general overview understanding um, of shapes. Sorry if I'm going kind of fast. We're gonna be doing little steps like this throughout um, the lessons. But again, a polygon, poly means more than one, okay? So um, if my shape had, let's see, if I made this crazy wacky shape that had all those different sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay, this is still a polygon because it does have three or more, it's got 12 sides, sides and angles, and it's got all these angles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, right? So 
Um, this would be a polygon. Okay. All right. The type of polygon that we are going to be focused on is a special type of polygon. We've talked about them briefly um, before. Let's see if you can remember it when I start writing it. All right, the word is quadrilaterals. Again, you wanna say it out loud if you can. Um, it helps you remember it better. So quadrilaterals are a special kind of polygon, okay? In quadrilaterals, this word right, or this um, prefix right here, quad. Quad means four. So all quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles, all of them, okay? So any shape that has four sides and four angles is a quadrilateral. We're gonna be learning a lot more about the different kinds of quadrilaterals that there are. Um, today, you're just focused on identifying shapes that have four sides and four angles, and that's a quadrilateral. So again, I'm gonna write it here. Quadrilaterals, four sides, four angles. So they are polygons, because remember a polygon is three or more sides and angles special kind of polygon polygon called a quadrilateral. Okay, so I'm gonna draw some examples of quadrilaterals. You can use your whiteboard and you can come up with your own kind of quadrilaterals as well. Um, so obviously our square that we did earlier, I know a square is a special kind of rectangle. So again, any rectangle is also a quadrilateral because it's got one, two, three, four sides and four angles. Um, doesn't really remember or matter what direction they're going, right? Still four sides, four angles. We have our trapezoid, our rhombus. Um, parallelogram. Oops, that's supposed to be connected there. There we go. And you can make kind of a three, four. Oh. You make kind of a wacky shape. It has four sides if you want. All right, so again, we are gonna be learning um, more about quadrilaterals um, and the different types of quadrilaterals there are today. Your only task is to identify them, which means find them. So on the next slide, you're gonna find a bunch of shapes on the top, okay? Um, and then, um, oh, I was gonna show you that, I, it, it's off. Um, you're going to click the shape and drag it into the yellow portion if the shape is a quadrilateral. If it's not a quadrilateral, four sides, four angles, leave it at the top. You just wanna click and drag the shapes that are quadrilaterals down into the yellow part, okay? And then once you hit um, turn in and save or share with me at the end, it'll all stay there and I'll get to see um, how we're doing with quadrilaterals today. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm always here every single day for you, so please let me know if you have any questions. Um, like I said today, just basic. You're finding shapes that have four sides and four angles, and then um, we'll move a little bit deeper into the, the different ones and the specific shapes um, later this week and next week. So hope you have a great day.